What's up, peoples? I'm going to talk about a couple different things, um, and, and most of it going to be pertaining to last night after the uh, Armando Galarraga um, perfect game that happened with the blown call, and it's going to be a discussion about replay, um, and not just a specific sport. Um, it, you know, now the discussion is going to come out uh, instant replay, where do you use it, um, and, and the commissioner of baseball, Bud Selig, has been very adamant of the fact that he, uh, in professional baseball, the human error is important to the game. It, and if you were to somehow get rid of any element of, uh, you know, the human, um, the human aspect of a, a game, you're somehow defeating the purpose or the spirit behind the game and you know it's a tough I, I will say it, it's tough to where you limit the scope of how you use instant replay right now they have implemented use of um, because it's somehow it's diff difficult to judge uh, in specific parks if a ball was a home run or not depending on how the ball part is park is built and and whatnot and where the ball lands and you know fans uh, interfering with with the ball in play and you know that's great and it's like well do you call balls and strikes and um, I think really if you're a professional sports organization why would you limit the ability of technology in your game I mean, you're just making yourself um, more and more of a dinosaur and more and more unappealing to people um, as far as technology pushing forward. And I don't think that's a very positive thing for Major League Baseball. Uh, I, I think the way that Galarraga and, um, and Jib Joyce uh, handled themselves after the game was true professionalism, and it's something that you don't see. Um, Trenny Kaznarek did a great b uh, blog article about, you know, how it's very rare to see that in the game. It would be a, a very easy for Galarraga to blow up at Jim Joyce, and it would be very easy for uh, Joyce himself to completely deny the fact that he was out, um, and he owned up to it. And um, I, I did an instant reaction after that, and I still stand by the reaction because, you know, that's it is humans make mistakes and that and that's the one thing um you gotta say it's like what um ken maka before uh pregame they just uh manager of the brewers they just interviewed him uh, in florida and they were talking about instant replay and he brought up the fact that you know jackie robinson stealing home while well, he was out on the and so but they keep showing that and that was a classic moment so why would you you know instant replay would have ruined that well that's a, a very flawed argument for me. For me, uh, the fact that oh well, it doesn't matter if it was correct or not. It's a classic moment, and I think you can't retroactively go back and say, well, let's change this because there's replay showing this. We can't change this, but there's replay. But baseball has a, and I'm talking about baseball now, but football is this too. I mean, football is doing the right thing. They're getting in and like close calls, you know, stuff like that. Um, you have the ability to challenge it. And I think they should say the same thing. Uh, you know, you have the coaches who have, they limit the, the amount of challenge that's, challenges that you can have. So it's up to, you know, the coach and the team essentially to challenge what they feel needs challenging. But you set a, a, a a limited number of times that you can do that. So, you know, would they challenge balls and strikes? Maybe it's not great to challenge every single one of them, but you give them a limited number of challenges, and the game really wouldn't take that much longer. What you do is you add 15 more umpires, okay? 15 more. You add replay boosts to every one. Um, with all the space around in the, in the media area, in ballparks, you add one umpire for every game being played. Um, most you're going to have is, is going to be 15 um, on any particular day because of the amount of teams in baseball. So 
you got one guy, okay, he's controlling the replays. And so then you wouldn't have to have, like football has it, it's on the field. You wouldn't happen to have an on the field. Maybe it's going to be the same, but you wouldn't have to have anybody go off the field, okay? You have an umpire that's back there looking at plays at all time. You have your team that's looking at the play, and if they feel it's that important to the outcome of the game, they can challenge the ruling. And then you look at it, and the umpire back there looks at it, and he determines by replay whether it's not or not. And, that, and that's the main thing. You may get some calls wrong. You still have the human element there. But it's up to the team themselves to determine what is going to cost them the game, what is important that we need to challenge it. And you limit the scope of how many things they can challenge. You know, balls and strikes, it's going to be very difficult to determine, you know, but safe out calls, um, catch, not catch, uh, home runs, um, you know, things like that are things that you can challenge. I don't think you could ever really say, you know, strike ball. It's cause that's the zone you could, the, the strike zone you can put logistical numbers on but with guys being different heights and different stuff it's very difficult to zone in on literally zone in on what is a strike and what is a ball and you know I think pitchers who are control guys and who are constantly hitting the corners and stuff like that and putting the ball where they want to they should get the benefit of the doubt for the call you know stuff like that should happen in baseball and that's something that absolutely will not detract from the game and I'll like a guy like Greg Maddox he was getting calls left and right he would throw run the, that uh, fastball over the outside of the plate to right handers run it over start in run it back over the inside of the plate on left handers and he was a control guy and he got the calls why because he was able to put the ball where he wanted and isn't that what you're looking for in a pitcher so you know and then the same thing will happen with hitters the guys that won't expand their zone and and will only swing at pitches that they know they can hit, and they should get the benefit of the doubt as well on close pitches. So, you know, you still have the human element. The C League can change this. Uh, I think it's ridiculous that you're holding, like just grasping on to. We need to. We need the human element. We absolutely need. It's vital to the game, and it's like, you know, and the detractors will say, well, it's going to take too long, and baseball is long enough as it is but isn't the main goal to get the call right so the right people win i mean in professional sports if you're going to say well they need a professional attitude fine they do absolutely need a professional attitude and i applaud galarraga for uh his reaction to it and joyce's reaction to it and admitting he blew the call and you know the last thing i'll say is you can't it, it sets a dangerous precedent when you're going back and changing the outcomes of games. They can't go back and change. They cannot go back and change the result of it. He made the call he did. Yes, we need to learn from this and improve the game to it. But you can't go back because that's because what else do you go back and change? You can't, you know, it's just set a limit on what you can go back and change. You cannot go back and change something. That's just the way it is. That's my thoughts on replay. I think it's it would be a positive for baseball. I think they need to do it, but I think they need to, like I said, limit the scope of what you can challenge and how many times you can challenge a call um, and give it up to the team to do that. That's my thoughts. Give me your opinions in the comments. Like this video because it's good for humanity. See you later.